Hello techies. Welcome back to Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. In the previous tutorial, we have learned how to create a new mail and to send that new email through Outlook action. That is, send the email through Outlook action. Now, in this tutorial, we will learn how to respond the already existing mails in the Outlook by using respond to Outlook mail message Outlook action. First of all, let me drag and drop this respond to Outlook mail message action onto the workspace. Now, first of all, we'll see the parameters. The first parameter, as we know, Outlook instance, that whatever we have launched the Outlook instance at the time of creation of the, at the time of launch Outlook instance, we have created the flow variable with the name of Outlook instance. The same instance, we are going to use it over here. And second one, account. For the send email through Outlook, as well as the respond to Outlook mail message actions, we'll use account name as email outlook that I have already shown you in the previous video. Please watch that. Over here also, I'm going to give the same thing, learning technologies 2020 at the rate of gmail.com. And over here, if you see the mail message, while we are going to retrieve the emails, we are using retrieve email message outlook action by using that will get the current item or current email, right? So the same email message that we are going to do that. So if you see over here, what we are going to do, we are going to take the current mail or single mail to respond on that. So that is the same item we will take it as a mail message. And after that, if you see the response, we are having three options over here. One is reply, another one reply all, and after that forward. So these three actions will learn how to respond for the particular email which has been received in our inbox or the particular mail folder. And after that body, what you want to send it? Like in a such a way, if you want to send it, uh, if there is any kind of incident, then in that case, we'll reply that in a such a way, we will look into this incident as soon as possible. All right. In the same way, we're going to work on the attachments. So the attachments is nothing but if you want to attach any kind of documents to the particular email while you are responding to the Outlook mail message, in that case, you are going to use attachments. I will show you all these things in the current session. Right now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on cancel because of first I will show you the difference for the send email through Outlook as well as the respond to Outlook mail message. If you see, while I'm going to send email through Outlook, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new mail. But whereas when I want to respond to an existing mail, which I have been already retrieved, in that case, I'm going to use respond to Outlook mail message. How can I know there is a already mails has been received? Then I'm going to use retrieve email messages from the Outlook. And all the mails I'm going to store in the retrieved emails. All right. Now I will take a small use case over here. Now I want to retrieve only the related mails related to the incident. If you see in my inbox, I'm having some of the incidents with the subject incident 8080 and 80811. All right. So now what I want to do, I want to reply them only or I want to respond them only. How can I go ahead and do that? Over here, I'm going to change the subject over here. I'm going to make the subject as incident while I'm going to retrieve emails. And after that, I'm not going to be taking any attachments over here. Just the subject content incident, I want to retrieve all the mails and I have to send that mail. All right, let's click on save. Now, I'm going to store that emails in the retrieved emails. Now to read each and every one, I have to loop that one. How can I loop that? By using for each loop action. Let me drag and drop this for each loop action onto the workspace. Now, value to iterate. What is the value that I want to iterate? Retrieved emails. Let's click on that and then let's click on save. Now, what are the mails I have retrieved as part of the retrieved email messages from the Outlook? I want to reply to them only. I want to respond to that particular mails only. How can I go ahead and do that? Now I'm going to use respond to Outlook mail message and I'm going to drop in the for each loop. All right, now the account, 
I'm going to give it as learning technologies 2020 at the rate of gmail.com. And you can see mail message by default that I'm having the current item. Now I want to respond the action. So I want to reply, reply all or forward. First of all, I will reply it. I'm going to give the body in a such a way high. We will look into the incident as soon as possible. That is my reply that I'm going to send it. All right. As of now, I'm not going to be taking any attachments. Let's click on save. Now, before going to run this flow, I will show you my outlook. Are there any kind of, you know, sent mails out there or not? Let me click on outlook. Now, let me go to sent items over here. You can see I'm having few mails which are not related to the incident. You can see the subject over here. I'm having only three and, uh, and the mails already sent previously. All right. Now, let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started and you can see I have sent the mail successfully. How can I know that one? Let me go to the Outlook once again. Let me refresh him by saying, clicking on send or receive mails. And there you can see I have sent a mail, two mails right now. You can see over here the two mails that is incident 8080 and after that incident 80811. And you can see the subject over here or the body you can see over here. Hi, we will look into the incident as soon as possible. For the both the mails you can see the same text because of I have given the static text I have not given any kind of dynamic changes out there in my flow while I'm going to reply to the particular mail message all right and then if you see one more time over here you can see the subject as re it's not forwarded it's replied and after that you can see I'm having a single mail that's a reason I can't see all the things over here okay now, let's assume I want to forward that mail to the particular email ID. How can I go ahead and do that? I'm, I want to respond in such a way, the response action I want to forward. Okay, and then I'm going to send the email in a such a way, I'm going to give it learning technologies 2020 because of I don't want to send to some other one, I'm going to send the mail to learning technologies 2020 at the rate of gmail.com and the CC also I'm going to give the same thing for the time being. And then if you see the attachments, I want to attach some document, any kind of document, like or else if I want to attach the entire folder in that case, I'm going to select the options over here. Right now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to select one file from my attachments and I'm going to click on save. Now what will happen, I want to, for, I'm forwarding this mail to the particular person that is learning technologies 2020. All right, now let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started and you can see it has been responding and it has mail has been sent successfully. Now let me go back to my outlook. Let me click on inbox because of you can see in the outbox that I have still our mails are there. Let me refresh once again. Now if you see over here that the mails have been sent to the particular person forwarded that mails to the particular person. Now you can see over here, I can see the mail in such a way forward incident 8080 and after that you can see the attachment over there and after that this is the forward mail so that you can see hi we will look into the incident as soon as possible. And you can see there I'm having 200 emails because of that the mail that we have sent to the particular mail for two times, right? That is the reason you can see two mails over here that the thing we have responded for two mails over there for the with the same subject incident over here. Now I will give you a small assignment over here in a such a way we have seen response action as reply and forward. In the same way I'm going to give some task over here as assignment over here how to respond action for reply all. All right. This is the small, very small task. Once they have been completed, please post them in my comment section. I hope you understand how to work with respond to Outlook mail message, Outlook action as part of this tutorial. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.